Hello and welcome back to KC Boomer Tech, where we talk about everything tech and fun stuff related to boomers and more. In part one, I discussed Windows 7's end of life and how to keep it running. And in part two, I'm going to discuss how to upgrade it, what to do first, and get that going. So let's get to it. <music> In part one, I discussed what you should do to keep your Windows 7 machine running. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10. But first, I want to review some things that you should have done already before you begin. First, you need to make sure your antivirus is up to date. If you have a paying service, update it, pay for it, run update. You need the protection. Secondly, you need to download two additional drivers, Microsoft Internet Explorer is not going to be supported anymore. So you need to download something like Google Chrome, Firefox, because these are going to be constantly updated and these will work in the constant environment you're in. Many computers like HP and Lavino have some type of automatic driver BIOS updater. Like HP has HP Assistant, uh, uh, Lavino has System Updater. You need to run that software and get the latest BIOS versions. That's very important, okay? If you have a laptop, you wanna make sure that your battery is holding a charge. If your battery is dead and won't work, you need to replace that before you even begin or think about doing this. Fourth, and most importantly, the new Windows 10 license is digital. So if you don't already have a Microsoft account, you need to create a new user, create Microsoft account, and install it. Okay, before and you want to let that go and open up, create and make that page open because you need to upload your current license and you need to get your current Microsoft Windows 7 license number and write it down. Okay, so that's part that's this part. So, continuing after you've completed all those steps. There's one thing you want to make sure you've done, and that's, of course, back up all your files. You should be doing that on a regular basis every week now, but if you haven't, get yourself a USB stick, a hard drive, whatever external hard drive, whatever you're using. Back up all your files, your pictures, your, your documents, everything onto that before you begin. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to log into your Microsoft user account. That's so that your digital license will be activated. Because if you're using a local account, your digital license is not activated. Now, we're going to go to this website, and I'll leave you the link. That's the Microsoft PC Upgrade. Now, you have two choices. You can download Windows 10 directly to your PC's hard drive. That's why I made you have, sure you had 30 gigabytes of space. Or you can take a USB stick that has at least 8 gigabytes on it and insert it now and follow the step step by step to create that media. Once you've done that, just follow the steps that it takes you and go through the Windows upgrade process. The process usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half. You want to make sure that the, if, it's a, if, the, if it's a laptop that it's plugged into power, you want to make sure that it's connected to the internet so that it will go out and get the latest updates. And you should be good to go. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, I'm always talking about various subjects about tech and how to do it and all kinds of funny subjects because I do, you're going to be seeing that I do travel a lot and you're going to get into that. So like, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, have a great day.